The Congress leader Ajay Markan has quit as uh, the Congress is Rajasthan in charge. Sources indicate he is uh, suggesting that he's upset with the turn of events in late September when Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot at the last minute refused to give up the post to contest the Congress president's election. Remember, over 90 MLAs loyal to Mr. Gehlot had refused to attend a key party meeting and had gone instead to the Speaker to hand in their resignation in protest against the possibility of Mr. Gehlot being replaced by his rival Sachin Pilot. Well, joining us now for more on this, Rashid Kidwai. We are also joined by Kapil Madan and uh, Divya Mahipal Madarna. Uh, Divya is the MLA from OSEAN. I'd like to thank you all very much for being with us. Um, Kapil Madan, when does this end? It's, it's a crisis which never ends in the Rajasthan Congress. Here you've got a senior leader, Ajay Makan, saying that, look, I don't want to do this job anymore. What does it say of the continued state of the Congress in Rajasthan? Now, Vishnu, Vishnuji, I think, uh, you know, one positive thing that you, uh, you know, that we can read from the letter is that someone, you know, if there was something that happened, we saw how Ashok Gehlot publicly uh, came and he made a public statement wherein he took the onus and the responsibility and he very, very candidly and very, very transparently said that as a chief minister, it was his job to get the resolution passed. However, since it was not passed it and he was sad and he you know took the responsibility at the same time when you see the resignation of mr markan it shows what it shows i mean possibly you know if mr markan was also unhappy he has taken a response he has also taken the responsibility that he could not uh ensure you know whatever fiasco happened there uh, or, or he could not ensure that the resolution you know was passed and and he's taken you know if, if he's unhappy and he's taken the responsibility i see a positive uh, sign where if someone is not able to deliver he has uh, taken the responsibility and has switched the role yeah but there's been no action against anybody divya mahipal madarna is that the key issue that perhaps has infuriated uh, you know uh, you know, some that there's been no action at all that has infuriated Mr. Markin, that there has been no action against the MLAs. There were 90 of them, a complete case of disobedience within the party. Ajay Markin, you know, there were a couple of show cause notices, I think three or four, but nothing has come off that. You know, as, as I was hearing the previous, um, uh, and it's a positive, I don't think it's a positive sign. Mr. Martin is not responsible to arrange things. He had come there as an, um, as an video observer. Uh, it's the chief minister where he was candidly accepted that he was supposed to pass the one time resolution. After that report submitted, and obviously the Indiscipline Act notice was issued to three people. Uh, but still on the prime post, if somebody has to go and somebody has to resign, uh, it is those three people who are hitting that whole thing that time. It is not the market. Right. We, we are in an absolutely embarrassed situation. He's a man of self-respect. Um, I salute him for what the decision that he's taken. But just imagine if he could come at the general section. These are all people who are accusing him of being biased. Right. One second with the line is a bit bad. We'll come back to you. Rashid Kidwai, um, is there a sense that Ajay Markan was actually supporting uh, Sachin Pilot, and then there was pressure, uh, you know, on Ashok Gehlot from his supporters, and the entire situation became untenable, uh, and then he had to go. Uh, is that one way of looking at it? Uh, not really, which no. I think that's the past. The present is that you know, high command's uh, inability to enforce its uh, kind of uh, uh, dictate its terms. Uh, because here it's a very disturbing thing that the three persons uh, who the Congress had issued a show cause now they have been made in charge of you know Bharat Jodo Yatra and uh, uh, Ajay Makan is raising that point that how do I go there and face the same people who are defied and I you know kind of co opt them without a decision being taken. I always maintain Vishnu it's a litmus test for Mr. Kharge a first test a political test and Mr. Kharge seems to be dithering and that is why these things are blown out of proportion there is no point blaming uh, Gandhis who are not really at the helm of affair. Mr. Uh, Kharge is within his, uh, his rights to declare that Mr. Ashok Gehlot will continue to be the chief minister for the rest of the tenure or whatever or you know do the otherwise as uh, you know uh, uh, Divya was suggesting but he must take a call. You just cannot uh, do this kind of thing as Narsim Manav kind of thing. Now the inaction is an action in itself right. or dithering or you know waiting for another day. Kapil Madan uh, is, is that the key point? 
that the new Congress president it doesn't seem empowered enough to actually take a decision. The original choice is that Ashok Gehlot would no longer be chief minister. He could have run for president himself. He chose to remain in this uh, Kissa Kursika situation in Rajasthan. Sachin Pilot, who was seen to be somebody who would come in as chief minister, finds himself nowhere now within Rajasthan in terms of what his aspirations were. The party is split down the middle. Uh, and, uh, you know, so wh where does this, where is the cohesion in the party? Now, now, so I think it's it's too uh, too early to draw any kind of conclusion. It's been hardly you know one month since Mr. You know Kharge took over uh, as the president of the Congress Party, and you know I agree with you that yes, I mean uh, it does not you know send a very very you know good uh, signs amongst the general public because we we you know the elections are around the corner in the Rajasthan also. But at the same time, one needs to also ensure that you know having a competition in the party you know brings more. Uh, uh, more, you know, more fire, more competitiveness, you know, in any organization. So, I mean, we saw when, uh, you know, the uh, the elections for uh, president of the Congress party were announced, you had different contenders and there were reports that Mr. Gelod would also uh, be contesting. On the other hand, if you draw a parallel with the BJP, now they don't have any, any other person who, you know, thinks that he's competent to contest for the post of the president. I mean, we just saw Mr. Nadda, he got his second uh, Term unopposed, there was not even a uh, second contender. So if yeah. I ask a question, if I ask a question to myself now, who would be the you know uh, next big leader after Mr. Modi? And 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 and, and or you know uh, if you ask this question, then you don't get an answer sure. because there is there is no aspiration because there is no one in the, in the BJP now who who can claim himself to be uh, uh, competent enough. For the post of the PM, All or right. maybe you know, for the post of the party president. All right. So the Congress party, one way or the other, remains in a mess in Rajasthan. Let's see if this gets resolved. I'm out of time. I'd like to thank all of you very much for being with us. We'll take a short break. Come back with more.